When it comes to asparagus, most people just throw it in a pot of boiling water and put some butter on top. I've got a different twist. A vinaigrette on top of some poached asparagus and pan seared with a balsamic glaze. When you go to the store to get your asparagus, you'll probably find it in different thicknesses, like this one that's a little bit thinner or maybe one that's a little bit thicker than this. Uh, I'm gonna show you how to make this asparagus just as tender as that. Also, we've got purple, green, and white asparagus. What I'm gonna do first is, is make sure the ends are all the same length, and I'm just gonna cut off about a third of my asparagus. And then this bigger, thick one, I'm gonna use a peeler and by doing this, you're gonna open up that nice, soft, tender flesh underneath. And then this asparagus is really good. Now I've got them already peeled up here. You can see how many I've got because we're gonna make a salad here for three or four people. We're ready to go. I'm gonna head over to my water that's already boiling and salted. So I've got my asparagus all prepped. I told you two kinds. This is gonna be the pan seared. So this is simple, just a little olive oil, salt and pepper. We're gonna put them in there and just let them sear. We're gonna poach the asparagus, purple, white, and green. That's gonna be in there for about three to four minutes. We want them crispy but tender. What's funny about the purple ones is once they cook, they start to turn green. You gotta turn these about every minute or so. See, you can kind of see the little bit of char that's starting to get on there. These have a real smoky flavor with the balsamic vinegar on top. And we're just about ready to come out of this. Okay, everything is coming out now. We're gonna take our asparagus and we're gonna put them in an ice bath. It's going to stop the cooking, but it's also gonna keep the colors nice and bright. Really white, white, a little bit of purple, and really brilliant green. Get these guys off. Look at that. That looks so good, just like that. Okay, move these around a little bit so the ice water gets all around there. Look how bright and green that is. So good. Now that they're out of the ice water, you wanna dry them off just a little bit with a hand towel. That way you don't have a lot of water in your vinaigrette. So it's all about the way things look here. And instead of making everything just a nice, even like, stack of logs, we're gonna mix it up just a little bit here. So this is the vinaigrette we made months and months ago for that caprese salad. I'm gonna drizzle this over the top, and then on top of that, I've got some shaved Parmesan. And see how nice that looks, and the big chunks of that will stick to the asparagus when you serve that up. And of course, just a little bit of parsley on top there, topped with some cracked pepper. All right, so that is the vinaigrette. Here is the pan seared. This is really simple. We're just gonna take a little balsamic vinegar glaze, drizzle that over the top, and of course, they don't wanna be lonely and not get their Parmesan cheese. So that's two ways to prepare these beautiful spring asparagus. Pan seared, but poached asparagus, white, purple, and green with a beautiful vinaigrette. If you'd like this recipe and more, Go to our website, cbs8.com slash recipes. Enjoy. Mm -hmm.